Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about scamming. So guys, this video has been requested quite a bit from you guys, but I wanted to make sure that I actually follow through and get on this topic. For a long time, I didn't want to make this video because it would encourage people and, and on top of encouragement, it would also allow people to learn more scamming methods. But with so many people being API scammed and with so many new scamming methods being out there and even very, very famous and large trading accounts actually also being engaging in scamming, I thought that this video did have a lot of demand, especially going into a marketplace in CSGO that is booming so much. So therefore, here's this video. So the first type of scam that I want to talk about and the way to stop this game from happening to you is the API scam. This is probably one of the biggest scams right now because so many people are falling for it and essentially what an API scam consists of is someone getting your API, your Steam API, and being able to cancel trades and accept trades from your Steam account without you even knowing. This game is very dangerous and there are a lot of ways to fall for it, so let's talk about some of those ways and how to prevent it from happening. And if it does happen to you, there is actually a way for you to stop it before anything bad happens to your account. So the first way and probably the most common common way that someone will try to attempt an API scam on you is through Steam messaging. Someone will add you and they'll say something along the lines of, hey, I have a tournament going on and I want you to join the tournament. I don't care what rank you are. Just go to this link and sign up for the tournament. Once you go to that link and you send your Steam details through that link, they will have your API and they'll be able to cancel and accept trades and they'll basically have your Steam accounts under control and all of your items. And the way that they do this is obviously by making you believe that you're going to join this tournament for them, help them out, but in reality, you're not going to actually be doing that. And I've also seen recently as well, people who don't actually ask for you to join the tournament, or people that do ask you to join it, but you deny them, they'll actually have you say, oh, I, I you know, I want to plus rep this tournament for them, and you'll go to the plus rep site, and that will do the same exact thing. So if this happens to you, obviously what you should do is just completely ignore them or just unadd them or block them. There are a few ways you can determine if a person's an API scammer. They tend to have very obvious scamming profiles where they'll have like a girl on the profile picture that obviously isn't them, and then they'll be in some stupid group like girl gamers, and then you can obviously just deny them from there and be like, hey, that's probably someone that's trying to fish my account for me. If the person also attempts to scam you, you should also do your part as a Steam community member, help some other people out, and go ahead and report the profile. It doesn't take that long, and it can help a lot of people out. If you do click on the link and you accidentally enter your Steam details for whatever reason, that what you need to do is revoke your Steam API. The best way to do this is to follow the link that I'm going to put in the description below, and basically what you can do from there is revoke your API from all sites that are currently using it. This will allow the person to no longer have your API, and you can carry on as normal. I also suggest that everybody go ahead and revoke their API anyway. It doesn't cause you any harm and it can actually help you out quite a bit in case any site has randomly picked up your API at some point in time and you didn't even know. So I would go ahead and revoke your API just to be safe. When you go to revoke your API, it's going to ask for a domain name. You don't actually have to put one in. You can just go ahead and click revoke API and it'll work without the domain name. Another thing you should do is you should actually go ahead and change your trade link. The best way to do this is to go to your inventory then go to your trade offers and then you can click on who can send me trade offers. Scroll down to the bottom and it'll allow you to change your trade link. Another common way of people getting your API is through advertisements. So Google actually services these advertisements. I don't know why, probably just because they pay the money. But what basically can happen is someone can clone a website such as cs.money and then they can make an advertisement on Google for their website. It is not the real cs.money and it is actually going to be the first result when you look up CS money because it's an advertisement. Never click on advertisements on Google, only click on the actual website when you search for it. Those advertisement sites are going to usually be called something like es.money instead of cs.money and it'll be something that looks very similar to the original URL but not quite the same. If you accidentally log into one of these sites, don't worry about clicking on it because they can't get anything from when you click on it, but when if you actually go ahead and log into these sites, the main thing you should do is the same thing as a regular API scam, revoke your API, change your trade link, etc. For the most part, that should protect you from API scams. Just don't click on any weird suspicious links, only click on links that go directly to Steam community. Make sure you're looking at URLs so you don't get a URL scammed, and make sure that you are staying safe when it comes to API scams. Now the next type of scam is a lot more complicated, and it's something that you should pay more attention to as well, because this one can get a little bit more crazy. And this one's called a cash rep scam, or a cash scam in general. Basically what will end up happening is someone will add you and tell you that they want to buy your items for cash, and then they can do this a varying amount of ways. One of them is through PayPal 
PayPal, for example. And they might actually go first on PayPal and send you the money first, but what they might end up doing is charge back. So you won't be able to get your money and they'll get to keep all of it. Another common way is through something like Bitcoin or Ethereum. They'll basically tell you they want to buy it through Bitcoin or Ethereum. They'll tell you to send the wallet link and then they will have you do the offer, tell you maybe that it's going to take a few days for the Bitcoin to go through. And in reality, it doesn't. They take your items and keep all the money. The best way that you can protect yourself from something like this, cash trading, is to either only A, only cash trade with people that are extremely high reputation in the community. For example, people like Fat Metal, who owns Global Offensive Trade, essentially. And what you can end up doing with them is a very safe and very easy trade. These people are not going to scam you. They're very big members in the community and they won't hurt you in that way. Basically, make sure you're only doing cash trades with very trusted people in the community. Nobody that just has a high steam level, for example, as you saw earlier in the Zipple tweet, you can actually see that the person had a very high steam level and had a very very legitimate looking profile, but they were in fact a cash trader scammer. There's something else called cash rep, but honestly, I would not recommend using cash rep or actually looking at somebody's cash rep for information on their person. Cash rep is essentially a thread on CSGO that you can add your reputation to when you do cash trades. And basically what the cash rep thread will show is how many trades that have actually gone through successfully. However, nowadays there are ways to forge this and there are ways to make sure that your cash rep looks really good, but in reality it isn't and you aren't actually a legitimate cash trader. This is something that you really shouldn't engage in and if someone shows you a cash rep that looks full and is trying to get you to go first, just don't go first. If you're at any scenario in any cash trade scenario that you actually really desperately want, I would at least recommend that you make them go first in any circumstance and never go first in cash trades. If you want to cash out your items safely, just use one of the whitelisted sites on global offensive trades. For example, loot.farm, cs.deals, bitskins, cs.money even. Those ones don't have all cash out, of course, but just use one of those sites if you want to get more liquid items or if you want to try and cash out and don't go through a different person. I understand that you will lose money if you do a third party site rather than if you just cash trade with somebody in the community, but you got to make sure that you are staying safe. You want, you know, at least some money instead of no money at all. If you want my honest opinion, I would say just don't engage in cash trades whatsoever. Only cash out on sites and don't try to engage in them at all with other members of the Steam community, even if they are very trusted because you never know, they could just do some kind of exit scam and never go back into the community. I personally don't do cash trades with anybody and I deny all cash offers and I just try to trade with items or cash out on actual websites that are trusted. And now for the less common scams, the ones that aren't that hard to actually stop, but ones that you might actually see. One of these is just simply sending your item first. Someone might say that they want to test out your item first and they want to send you theirs after you send them your item so they can test yours out, see what yours looks like, and then give you their item. This is usually a scam, a complete lie, don't fall for it. There's also the middleman scam where essentially someone will say that they want to get a middleman for a trade and they'll actually send it to one of their own friends that looks like a trusted middleman but in reality they aren't and they will take all of your items and run. Middlemen are something you should not really trust in any scenario, they're usually always scammers and uh, there are only extremely rare circumstances where middlemen are actually going to be legitimate. If you want the full protection on your CSGO items, I would say don't engage with middlemen at all and don't engage in cash trades at all unless you really know the person that you're trading to or you really are sure that they are the trusted person. The final scam that I want to talk about, the only other one that you might encounter is a fake bot. So basically what will happen with this is when you put an item on a website, for example cs.money, a fake bot will send you a trade offer and basically they'll just ask for the item like it would regularly look like, but it'll be a fake bot. This doesn't happen very often and it's very rare, it kind of is up to a lot of random chance, but it does happen in very rare occasions and so make sure that you are checking all the trade offers and you're not sending anything too crazy and you're not, you know, going too far in. Other than that guys, that is pretty much every scam that is used current today in CSGO. If there are more scams that you want me to cover in essentially a part 2 video, then let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry if I didn't cover a scam that you think is very pertinent, but if you do think it is that important to cover, again, let me know in the comments below and I'll get on it. I want to clarify that this video is for educational purposes only. Do not attempt any of the scam methods I mentioned in this video. Don't even joke about them in some cases. And you should really just try to stay safe as possible and don't go for anything that seems a little bit too risky. Again, like popped up on the screen earlier in the video, rule number one of not getting scammed is if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. So guys, that's going to end the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great start to 2020, and I hope you all are ready to have a lot of great content on my channel going forward. Make sure you stay safe out there in the CSGO community, and I will see you all next time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to join the Discord server if you want any further help, and make sure to go follow my Twitter for daily updates in my CSGO life. I'll see you all next time again. Peace.